Good morning, Autobot Spike here. Back for another stunning, exciting, thrilling, exhilarating installment of the Autobot Spike channel. So happy to be here. So glad to have made it. Yesterday was a no-go, but that's all right. Sometimes these things happen. Looks like I wasn't the only one. I saw a few streamers who had to uh, shuffle some things around. So I feel like I'm in good company. They were pretty pretty good folks uh, so anyway happy to be here looking forward to streaming a little bit more of the um, classic point and click adventure space quest one uh, if you weren't with me last time or you're not in the know a point and click adventure uh, is essentially sort of an interactive story uh, kind of reminds me of the like kind of a room escape in, in in the sense that you're usually going from vignette to vignette and you have to solve some series of puzzles uh, or tasks in order to advance to the next stage probably one of the reasons i like room escape so much is i've played games like this before uh and i don't mean just one or two i loved these games sorry i ran over my my um <laughs> my headset cord <laughs> <laughs> I've got, I got, I got wheels on my seat here, and uh, and I, I found my cord. Uh, so uh, that is sort of the gist of a point-and-click adventure. This is the um, technically the first of the Space Quest games, although it is actually a remake. Uh, so it was remade using their new, uh, I guess, game engine would be correct. I'm not 100% sure, but uh, point being is uh, they definitely went and took an old game that had some out, outdated uh, graphics and updated it, gave it a, gave it a new life. Um, and so this is the version of that. This is the 256 color VGA rendition of Space Quest 1. I just realized I've lost my, my little fidget ring that I had. Uh, oh, no, I did find it. It's, hold on, it's behind my behind my, my stream deck and I use that term a little loosely uh, as some of you know, many of you know I'm, I have actually built my own uh, stream deck using uh, open source uh, uh, software and available technology uh, that I got from uh, various places some of which I had, some I had, I had shipped uh, from way overseas um, oh and on that topic, so uh, some of you may have been following my twitter um and uh, my Discord, but I did print an outer bezel for my stream deck. It was pretty cool. It's got some got some nice greebling on it, very um, reminiscent of sci-fi um, films, shows back in the day. Uh, what all of these things do, you'll never know, but they look interesting, they look important. Uh, so I did print this. This go it kind of looks like a license plate frame. Uh, it does have fittings for uh, the mounting hardware that will mount the Stream Deck screen to this. However, I should have double-checked the dimensions uh, on my screen here. They are just slightly larger, and I mean just slightly. This this little bit right here, I need to I need to bore that out over here and over here, and then across this bottom piece. Just I mean, just not even in, not even a fraction of of an inch. Um, a sixteenth of an inch, I think, is is really what it's lacking. But this is a precision machine. I should have been able to do that. I just didn't give it my due diligence. I assumed the dangers of that, of course. Uh, but I did assume that this was going to be correctly proportioned uh, for this specific screen because it was proportioned for a similar screen. Uh, and that bit me in the butt. Uh, also <laughs> learned. I'm using this. This is a this is just a really nice little case. This is actually is one of the best prints I've done in a long time. Um, yeah, I don't know. I laid it flat. I did just some supports across here. Uh, I let it just build up. Otherwise, I, it came out really nice. Uh, this is this is going to be the backing. This is going to hold it uh, in place, and it'll stand up like that. Okay, so right. Um, and all is well. All is fine. All is good. This will fit. Where it on and this see now this is actually proportioned correctly. Isn't that funny? I may have to make I may have to bore out the screw holes a little bit. But anyway, it's proportioned correctly. 
uh, to fit here. Unfortunately, as you can see, this is supposed to lay flat, right? This lays flat. And look what I did. I put this thing hanging down because I just thought it looked cool, right? This thing hanging down is going to basically just get in the way. It's just going to get in the way. Look at that. It's going to sit on this and tilt it up. Actually, it's not going to be a big deal. But I'm either going to have to prop this up with something, uh, redo this particular print. Uh, I really don't want to have to redo this one, so I'm going to tool this. I may, I may find myself cutting off... Uh, this piece and it wouldn't be the worst thing. I mean, it would just be just this little this little goatee or, or chin soul patch Thing right here uh, can just go away It's fine. But anyway, that's what I'm working on. It's kind of a minimal uh, minimalist approach um, This will hold my stream deck Which as you all know is barely holding itself together right now with a couple of uh, nuts a couple of bolts um, and Some wings and a few prayers uh, but it works. It works because I can push buttons on it and I can show you things like what I'm printing here, um, which is happening on my Flashforge Finder. Uh, that is a six inch build area uh, for those not in the know. And that's six by six. So, um, you know, square, right? And then it also is basically yay tall. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what the, the maximum height is, uh, but I think I may be testing that today. Does Autobot Spike have an official logo? Um, well, yeah, kind of. Um, you know, I've got, uh, you can see it down at the bottom of my screen there. Uh, and then that is uh, that is the lettering uh, that I use. And that's a, a variation on the, the Cyberpunk 2077 lettering. Um, so I do use that. As far as my logo, I have my avatar, um, which you'll see. I can just go ahead and share that with you here. I've got... Uh, this little fella here, this is my uh, Autobot Spike avatar. He's a little 8-bit pixelated uh, Transformer guy. Uh, I had created him a long time ago as an avatar for uh, the TFW 2005 uh, Transformer forums. Uh, so I do use him. Um, and as far as uh, official logoing, um, that's as close as I am. Um, but at some point I will be looking at, uh, setting up some merch, uh, which people can, uh, purchase to help support my channel, uh, and what I do. Uh, so that will be something that I'm going to look at a weird reflection off of myself here. What is that coming from? That is, oh, that's bouncing off of my, <laughs> that's bouncing off of my, uh, uh, something here. I don't know. It's actually a fairly nicely lit day. Um, but that's as close as I've got. Uh, to, to the, the official logo, um, short of the subscriber badge there that you have, which shows uh, the visor over top of the um, the uh, trademarked otherwise uh, <laughs> Transformer logo, so we probably won't use that one. But I'd say this little rendition of uh, Autobot Spike is probably fairly safe uh, for me to use. Um, but otherwise, yeah, that's, that's about it. Um, I also have uh, Spike's Workshop, which is another entity altogether. Uh, that is, of course, um, where I keep uh, things at my Etsy shop. And is also affectionately what I refer to as the place where I, I assemble a lot of these creations. Uh, I might do a walkthrough one day uh, when I have it kind of cleared up. But uh, that's, that's where I'm at with that. Uh, but good to see you, Etsy. And thank you for the question. So, uh, what we are, uh, oh yeah, that was the other thing. So you might've seen my go live notification on Twitter. Um, so, and that was, that was featuring this Pokeball, uh, that I printed the other day. Uh, and sometimes 3d prints go perfectly and sometimes they don't. Um, I learned later that the original model for this, and I'll show this to you. Uh, the original model for this was, um, lacking some continuity in the sizing uh, specifically for this part here, okay? So this this piece actually is an insert. Um, but you can see this actually is pretty cool. This is this is where the, the Switch game cartridges fit in. Uh, and then this piece closes. Uh, once I tool this out a little bit, it'll actually fit nice and flush. Uh, and it's got a couple of uh, pieces that lock this in place. Uh, one has a, a clip. Uh, and one is just a, a small post. This has a, a spring that needs to be inserted, which I'll grab one of those out of... Uh, one of my, my Junker toys 
uh, that I have. I use those for creating custom versions of action figures, um, a couple of which have made it to the hands of other creators, which is kind of fun. Um, so this will be uh, hopefully finished, and this will be spring-loaded uh, at some point. And then when it is, it will release the top, and you'll be able to uh, open that in kind. But as it stands right now, I do have just a little bit of um, machining and work to do. But this Pokeball looks pretty damn sweet. Uh, it has not been painted, and it will not be painted. This actually looks fantastic in the 3D printed materials. Uh, wouldn't change a thing. So pretty stoked about that. That came out great. Um, and then we are doing some other interesting things over here. Uh, you may not yet be able to tell what that is. Uh, although you're certainly welcome to uh, place your bets as to what it might be. It does look... I think I'm going to let it be. Um, I was concerned uh, about it a little bit. This material goes on well unless it finds a spot where it doesn't want to. Uh, and then it can get a little junked up. But if it's just on that tip of that there, I think it'll be all right. This is, um, this, uh, that's a, a little uh, critter that you're probably familiar with. Uh, although you may not be used to seeing it up close like this and certainly not going down uh, in individual layers. Um, this is the type of thing that usually will come at you all at once. Um, but... This creature here should be pretty cool when it's all done. I'm doing it in a nice silk purple filament. Uh, so that's going to be super fun. And then uh, this one here, uh, this is a functional piece. This is going to be another, um, uh, ultimately a game cartridge holder. Uh, so I don't know that the market is necessarily saturated with these, but I think they're really cool. They're really neat functional pieces uh, with inserts. Um, and I'm doing this one in a special translucent yellow and or gold color uh, just for fun. And I will have a label on that that will reflect uh, this particular um, project when it's all done. So, And speaking of projects, I have made some progress on my Mjolnir hammer. Etching into that surface is a bear, and it's not so much the, the main surface, but the, the, the parts where it comes down kind of like tapers down, and there's all the runes and everything I gotta go. I, I, my, my planning stage didn't account for the light having to pass through a very thick layer, um, so I accidentally painted over an area I should have left clear. That would have solved some issues for me, but I didn't do that, so... I'm having to dig in a little harder and work harder, but it's almost done. I've got three of four of the large sides and one of two of the smaller sides uh, of that hammer fully etched uh, and then goes a light silver wash uh, over the cracks uh, and i'm just like a, just a water-based acrylic um, that's really lightly brushed on uh, so the light will still shine through when it's lit up uh, the electronics are already done so all i have to do is uh, just finish painting the handle um, which just needs a silver in the wrapping uh, and then have that assembled and then I'll be able to show that off um, so hopefully that comes to fruition very soon with that said uh, I think we'll uh, we'll take a, another break to check on our progress of our print here after a bit but I think we'll go ahead and take a look and dive in to the game that we have started uh, again this is Space Quest 1, the Sarian Encounter. It's an old computer game. As you can see, 1991 was the year it was remade. Um, and let me see if I can... Ah, good. That is how I do that. Okay. Yes, I'm ready to load this arcade-based play here. Very good. Okay. That should be... Oh, and I left that turned on. <laughs> All right. Well, here we go. We're going to go ahead and uh, swap over to here. Uh, and then let's see here. Ooh, settings. I wonder. Transistors cut. Well, I thought I had a. Interesting. I thought I had a wipe as a. I do. 
Okay, well, that's all right. We're not going to worry about that. Uh, okay, here we are. We're going to go ahead and get started. Uh, I can use the keyboard, but don't really need to, so I'm not going to grab that unless it's absolutely necessary. Uh, let's see how it goes. Ah, oh, not great. Not a great start here. <laughs> all right, let's try that again. Oh, man. Crashed again. Now, it does seem to indicate that I could skip this if I really hate it. Oh, my God. I'm getting some damage here. God! Oh, man. Okay. We'll get through this. I don't know why they added this arcade section. I'm like aiming for them, I swear. Wow, oh, I see the town. This is a good thing. Why they added this in there? It seems odd. I don't know if this was in the original. I'm sure it must have been. Oh no! Why? Spike, why did you do it? Oh, you silly person. Oh, what's happening there? Alright, hang on. I got something going on. I'm gonna let me just clear off real quick on this bed so that it doesn't leave a little extra stuff laying around. I'll be right back. What are you doing? What are you doing? There we go. Now I got a whole section of this that's just not printing. Are you kidding me? Really? Well, that's disappointing. Hmm. This could restart. I don't think it's going to get any better, huh? Oh, God. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, we're having a bad time. All right. Well, I guess we got to restart that. Bear with me a second. I thought I'd have a little bit of a head start on this today, but oh man, that's coming right up too. Son of a gun, making all kinds of parts and pieces. <laughs> oh my gosh, what a mess. This would have been really cool if it had only stuck down to the bottom. Ah. All right. Oh, it's a shame to take all these little parts off. Oh, it's warm. Oh, that's hot. That bed is hot. Wow. There we go. All right, we'll try this again. And just get it just a little closer to the bed, maybe. <laughs> uh, so, so it was it was not printing certain parts of it, which is a, a darn shame because this was actually looking really good. All these little parts were going down real nice, uh, and then just a couple of them just not, not happy. So. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll go ahead and fix that here real quick um, and be right back.
Okay. Now well, this will be fun. So we're watching this come down right now. Uh, it's got that little... I hope that comes out with the purge. Uh, watch. This is the... Um, this is the setup. Oh, yeah, that guy, that's purging a little bit more than I want it to. Let's see if I can... Oh, it looks like so much more material... When you're really close up on it, it actually doesn't look like much when you're looking at it. <laughs> so we'll watch this here real quick. And man, that's really just pushing a lot of that out. That's why I like having that little bit of a uh, extra bit of material coming out, but now I could do this on a raft, and a raft would solve a lot of these problems when you're trying to print something directly to the bed. Uh, but it uses so much more material, I really hate doing it because I feel like it's wasteful. I hope that purge line really gets all that out of there. I don't know. I find this fascinating. I enjoy watching the process. What it's doing, you see that little probe that's coming down, right? That is the auto-leveling probe. Um, and uh, now that I think about it, I wonder if I couldn't just add a small window up here like I did on the other. Uh, we'll do that later. Um, I could just do it. Let's see, video capture device. I can't see that. Hey, look, it's me. All right, so I'll just put myself up here real quick. There. All right. So basically, um, it's calibrating. It's calibrating. It says, okay, I'm not exactly sure if this bed is level, but I'm going to do my best to approximate what level approximate what level is. Uh, and and then I'm going to adjust the Z height according to. That's pretty cool looking. You got the touch. Whoa! <laughs> you got the touch. Plunge, plunge, thank you for the two months. Arise, plunge 87 Prime and light our darkest hour. Hey, I am actually not working during your stream. Now, Imagine that laughing face. <laughs> hey, man, that's cool. Well, I'm glad you decided to spend some time here with me. How fun. I love that. Thank you so much. We're watching, uh, I had to restart my, um, I had to restart my print, so I'm watching... <laughs> I'm, I'm watching it go down to see how it, how it looks. I, I don't know that I've ever actually watched this intently on this... Um... Well, this is fascinating. Oh yeah, it didn't. Oh no! What's happening? <laughs> oh, it's horrible. What's happening? I think I can fix it. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah, man.
Alright, I'm trying. Wash this down just a little bit. I think we're there. I think we're about there. Alright. Alright, so what I'm trying to do, see this didn't work out. I mean it started to work out pretty well, but then it, it wasn't um it wasn't doing what I wanted. And I was very unhappy with that. Um so Is that that can't be what that is. Alright, sixty one, I don't know what that is. Okay. But well, we'll leave that alone. So we're actually basically watching this. We're going to see if this uh, sticks. <laughs> and I hope it does. But we'll come back. We're going to we're gonna go ahead and check out... Yeah, I think that's going to be all right. It is so trippy to watch it this close because it doesn't look like that in real life. Uh, you know, in real life, it, it looks more like this. I mean, this is... <laughs> yeah, all right, great. So you want to know what we're printing? I'll tell you. Um, this is right here. Uh, this is the, yeah, good. I had the right screen up. This is a, looks like an old Nintendo cart. Um, but actually this is going to be, yeah, yeah. This is actually going to be a housing for holding, uh, Switch games. I'm also going to have an alternative uh, insert, which is just basically like a little tray um, that can slide in and out of that, so you can you can store you know whatever, um, whatever you want. Um, so that's that's what that is. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Yeah, I, I love I love mixing up my my retro and, and my not retro stuff. Um, you know, it's like uh, you know diving into the the the, the old NES style. With a with a modern functionality, I think is is pretty cool, um, you know. And of course, the the, the old cartridges have their um, have their staying power too, uh, as far as aesthetic. And but this will look nice as you put this on a shelf with all your with all your stuff. I mean, you know, especially if you have a switch. Well, you know, you're gonna uh, as a lot of people have the um, I know I do the uh, the retro games that you can get for Nintendo Switch Online. So. Um, so that is, let's see, what is this? That is the, okay, it is borders. Okay, that's interesting. So I'm going to pop over here real quick. We're going to take a look at that. And I'm going to try and add just a little bit of this styling here while we're watching. Yeah, there's that. Okay, we'll just put it up here. Fix it live, right? Fix it live. And we'll just put that up over here. Yeah, that should do it. Oh, did I? I think so. Yeah, that's good. Use a little border. So. All right. Oh, yeah, yeah. And what are we printing here? Well, I will show you that as well. Um, it's obviously, we're printing what's called a um, a brim around this. Now, actually, I wonder, another thing that might have solved my problem is, see, this brim actually is detached. But it might, if this fails, I might go back and reattach the brim. Um, and I just did this to make sure it had a nice amount of material going down, uh, cause you know, sometimes we run into the, um, and it helps with the, the heat distribution I, I found, um, to have something nearby that's holding down very well. If that way, if this starts to peel up, it seems to, it seems to hold up pretty well. Um, but we'll see how well it goes down. Uh, but I'll show you what we're doing. You saw this, and then for our uh, Halloween... Uh, oh, I've messed up somehow. For our Halloween month... This is, this is what we've got. This is our little pal here from none other than 
in my opinion, still one of the, the, the creepiest creatures to ever grace film. This is the alien face hugger. Uh, and you might have noticed that this one is segmented. Uh, and that is because when this comes off the build plate, it should be flexible. Much like this little fella right here. Okay, this is a, a flexi gecko. Actually, is one of a, a set of earrings that I've made. Um, there. Uh, but it's going to be flexible just like this little fella. And have multiple points of articulation. So that's what we're that's what we're aiming for. We're just watching it really intently um, right now because uh, if it doesn't go just right, uh, I'm gonna have to restart the print. But it's gonna be a while before we notice anything because it does have a, a decently sizable brim on it. Um, so so there's that. Um, I actually do. I like I, I like this. So if we go back to uh, we're going to go back to here. Yeah, I'm going to do the same thing here real quick. We're going to add... I like that, um, you know, I'm not taking myself out of things too much when I add that in. So I'm going to just add a media source here real quick. Uh, adding Not a media source. What am I doing? Adding a, a video capture device is what I'm doing. Uh, over here. Okay. Hey, there I am again. Okay, we'll just put myself up over here. No. Okay, good. And we'll add, add this. This will take just a moment, and we'll be all set with that. We'll get that over there in the corner, and we'll just close the loop on that. That looks pretty good. We'll deal with that if, if I need to improve that. So, all right, so that's what we're doing. We're doing um, this fella right here, a nice alien face hugger. Uh, and... We're also doing uh, an NES styled uh, game cartridge holder. So there we go. All right. So we're going to jump right back in to our uh, game and see how badly we can uh, mess this up again. <laughs> All right. Yes. Ah, oh, crash again. I like that little, this is a late warning. The big rocks are bad. I wonder how long this section actually is, though. Ah, god damn it. Uh, nicely done, Spike. Well done, sir. I, I highly appreciate how terrible that was of me. Like, who's this for? Did they do it just to make you take longer in the game? I don't know. I, I'm debating skipping. Ah, crap. No, Spike. No. <sighs> this is all right. I get to try again and improve. I wonder if there's a rhyme or reason to it. Is there a pattern to it, I wonder? Or does it just... There must be... I mean, it can't be that... Ah! <laughs> it can't be that randomized, right? Oh my god, I've done it again. Woot! Oh my gosh. Also, thank you for the luck earlier, Plunge. I didn't say thank you, but... Uh... Do appreciate you wishing me good luck. That's. There we go. 
<laughs> I'm gonna need it. Ah, oh, crap. Yeah. Oh, you dork. There we go. Okay, okay, we're doing good. Ah! I know I gotta be getting close, right? Because... The town's getting close. Oh, nuts. It's bad. It's bad! Nope. Wow, that was some bullshit. <laughs> Right out of the gates, you bastards! <clears throat> Alright, it does seem to be somewhat random. Oh, no, wait. Oh, God, I thought I was dead. Oh, I'm starting to panic. This could be the run. This could be it. Good. Oh boy, okay, okay. Wow, can I get closer please to this place? I want to be done. That was pretty intense. <laughs> Yay! We made it! Woo! We made it! Yay! <laughs> After a truly stone-crunching journey, you've miraculously arrived safely in Venice, uh, Ulan's Flats. Just in time, too, because the skimmer's power cell has been drained. It will take some time to recharge itself. Okay. The place isn't quite what you'd expect it. It's semi-bleak at, at best. All right. Uh, an odd-looking fellow is lounging against the wall of a nearby building, watching you with a great deal of interest. I'm going to save. Uh, and we're going to call this interesting fellow. Oh, uh, it would help if I typed on the right keyboard, though. Oh, boy. There we go. Oh, I'm rolling out of the way here, too. Alright, oh, he's uh, talking to me. We're talking, we're being friends. Sorry, pal, I couldn't help noticing your skimmer. It's a genuine 86 Pleiades GL. I've been looking everywhere for one of these babies. How'd you like to unload it for an unheard of price of 25 buckazoids? Okay, here's the deal. I'm probably going to regret one of these answers. No way, dude. Fine, be that way. 
All right. Oh, he's long. He's gone. He's long gone. I see some ships I should recognize. Oh, I hear some music is uh, jammed up here, though. There are a couple of non-galactic looking humanoids cranking out some unfamiliar sounding tunes. They seem interested solely in the music they're performing. Some strange blue dude currently monopolizes the slots of death machine. Fine example of his species, whatever that is. This guy appears to have been have blown in from Santa Cruz. You must be getting dizzy. You're seeing triple. Oh, <laughs> I wonder if that's a Total Recall reference. This character looks like an economy side version of your Uncle Buck's toupee. Cute little purple guys, eh? They sure can put away the brew. This character kind of reminds you of a cute, fluffy little kitten you had when you were a kid. Except that he weighs about 400 kilos, has a foot, has foot long, razor sharp claws, and a bad attitude. Sound, sounds like my kitten. <laughs> uh, let's talk to the bartender then, shall we? Excuse me, good man, I would like a drink. I get you in just a second. So what's your beef, Junior? Do you want a beer? It costs two buckazoids. I mean, I've got three. Here you go. Hmm, it tastes better than it smells, thank goodness. Another one would be nice. Oh. Shit. It appears to be an electronic slot machine. Uh. Okay. Uh, let's see. Insert a buckazoid into the slot. With shaking hands, you insert your last buckazoid into the slot o death machine. Oh god, we're gonna die, right? Interesting. Uh, how's it going? Printing that stuff down there, little printer. All right. Looks like it's going down over there anyway. I guess we'll see. Uh, I'm going to say no way to that fella. Again. Just on the off chance. Oh, it's a different band. On stage are two heavily bearded gents and a relatively clean-shaven drummer. They're one of the hottest bands in the quadrant. Is it luck of the draw getting... They don't have time to talk to you right now. Okay. All right, we're going to try this again. 
Excuse me, my good man, I would like a drink. Hold on, Mac, I'll get to you when I can. So what's your beef, Junior? Uh, I want a beer, it costs two buckazoids. Here you go. Hmm, it tastes better than it smells, thank goodness. Another one would be nice. Now, let's see. Does this guy automatically die? He does. Okay, so drinking the beer is the catalyst for that. So... So, you come here often? Get out of my face, Pinky! Oh, you've decided she's not your type. Heck, she's not even your species. Forget it. This guy's not exactly a sparkling conversationalist. What about this dude? Can I offer you a milk bone? You inquire in an attempt to be friendly. You decide you just can't make friends with everybody. Ew, how about a refill? Uh, oh wait. We don't have enough money for another beer. Come on, bud. If you haven't got the money, hit the sand. Alright, fine. Am I going to die if I talk to this guy? You'll have to get closer. Okay, great. Hey, buddy. Hi, name's Wilco. Roger Wilco, what's yours? I am sometimes called Speaker to Cartoons, and sometimes Flayer of Soft Ink Mammals. Mind if I sit down? Buzz off, monkey boy. Okay. Okay. Well. This ought to be interesting. Let's see. Okay, how's that going? That is going... It's going okay. watching intently here our print as we see we see if this is going to work or not this is intense you can see it getting pushed down have we made it we haven't made it to the outer appendages yet so that's that is a point of question. This seems to be going okay, though. All right. Well, that's all right. We'll we'll keep we'll keep our eye on that. Oh, I see. Talking to that talking to the bartender seems to have solved. It appears to be an electronic slot machine. Do I have anything that? Messes with electronics. <laughs> Appears to be magnetic. With shaking hands, you insert your last buckazoid into the slot of death machine. Nice! You win. You have $10. Okay. We're going to save. I have ten dollars. Uh, shall we try again? Shall we try again? I think we're gonna try again. Insert a buckazoid into the slot. Come on, let's do it. I'm gonna get caught cheating, aren't I? Twenty-nine. All right, we're going to get in trouble. And this is okay. This is all right. I I'm willing to see if we die. Well, I'm glad I got that magnetic widget earlier. Oh, did I not do that? I'm sorry.
Nice. I don't know how much I'm supposed to have, so I'm just going to keep going. We have 54. Man, this is going great. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> oh my goodness. Man. All right. He's on fire. I feel like I've seen this trick in a movie somewhere or a game. Oh, and I have a hundred. Is that enough? What do we think? Save. Is it enough? Uh, let's exit. I'm busy, wait your turn. So what's your beef, Junior? Uh, yes, I'd like another drink, please. Thank you. Here you go. Ah, yes, that hit the spot. Just one more should do it. How about a refill? Hold on, Mac. I'll get to you when I can. What's your beef? Another drink, please. Here you go. Oh. As you sip another of the odd brews, you overhear someone at the bar speaking. There I was, cruising through Sector Double E, when I spot this blip on the scanner. So I head toward it, you see, and right there in front of me sits the Deltar. It's just sitting there, my mind starts hyperwarping on me. I figure my milliseconds are numbered. All I can think of doing is getting my craft out of there, so I'm reaching for the throttle. All of a sudden, there's this terrible flash of light, you see, and just like that, this little planetoid explodes into a ball of fire. I tell you, I ain't never seen anything like it. I mauled the throttle and got out of there quick, you bet. Ah. Uh, great. Now for you, milk bone. Grr. Uh, okay, is there more to... Sure, how about a refill? I'm busy, wait your turn. So what's your beef, Junior? Uh, I want another drink. Here you go! You feel a strange tingling sensation. <laughs> the taste of the beer doesn't seem to be bothering you so much now. <laughs> I might have made a mistake, but it's okay. I think we're going to get our asses handed to us. You want another drink? Yes. Here you go. All right. Blue. Uh oh, you start to feel a little unstable. This is going to be great. We're going to do a third one. Yo, how about a refill? Oh, sorry, that was me. <laughs> Yo, how about a refill? Oh, no. The fingers aren't going down, are they? No! What? Well, that one... No, no, no. Why? Oh, that one actually might survive. All right, hold on. I'm going to try something. Be right back. Oh. Oh. <laughs> All right. It might be okay. We're going to find out. <sighs> Listen, Mac, I shouldn't serve you anymore. You sledged. You'd better go sleep it off or something before you start making a public display of yourself. Uh, give me another one, you jerk. Ooh. All right. Uh, so here, we're going to do a quick thing uh, before I... Oh. oh, I've done it. Okay, whoops. Here you go. Wah. Whoa. I'm good. You wisely, although somewhat belatedly, decide to heed the bartender's advice.
I'm walking it off. Okay. Oh, that dude stole my ride anyway. You stagger out of the bar after ignoring the bartender's advice. You're so sledge you don't even notice that you're about to become prime prey for the many parasitic life forms in the area. You quickly pass out due to your low coronian ale tolerance. Have I died? Oh, yeah. While your body tries to sleep it off, you lose every possession you own. Soon, your body is stripped for parts. Obviously, you don't make it through the night. All right. Hey, quick pause for ads, and I'll be right back. <laughs> Not good. I just witnessed as the um, the poor tail of our um, our face hugger got mangled. I'm pretty disappointed by that fact. We might be able to fix that. Changing the brim distance to zero, perhaps. Granted, taking the brim off is obnoxious, but... Not as obnoxious as having to restart a print a number of times. Uh, what we're doing here is we are actually... We are re-slicing. Uh, you can't really see it over here. I got a little window. We are re-slicing this. Oh, I know, Uncle Wooly. It's such a shame having to restart it. But I'm thinking the brim will solve the problem. It'll allow it to uh, to adhere just a little bit better 
uh, since the brim seems to be sticking very well. Um, and if that's not the issue, then it might be the... Uh, it might be supports. It might need supports. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, this will actually be the second time that I've had to restart this uh, for this stream. But that's okay. I mean, I'll finish it. It's not... You know, it may not happen on stream. It's probably not going to happen on stream anyway. But um, but anyway, Uncle Wooly, great to see you. Thank you for coming in uh, and for joining the stream. Yeah, we are trying desperately to print this poor little face hugger um, because it really just it just needs to happen. Um, okay, so let's let's take a look at the preview here. This is what I wanted. Uh. Generate structures to... Okay, no, that's not... Okay, I'm not actually trying to... Okay, so it looks like... Yeah, it looks like the brim would do this. I'm having a decent Friday, bud. Not too bad at all. And I'm thinking... I'm thinking... This is going to be the way to do it. I don't know about this, though. That, that makes me a little... Concerned. If I can get the brim off... Should be able to, though. Yeah, it should come off. I think that'll be fine. Um, yeah, we're going to try that. We're going to try redoing it with a brim. Uh, that should hold all the pieces in place, I think. Uh, so give me a minute on that real quick, and then we'll restart. We'll get back to where we're going. I'm doing great, though, Uncle Wooly. How about your Friday? How's your Friday going? <clears throat> Final Fantasy 3. Final Fantasy 3. Oh my goodness. I have not played Final Fantasy 3. I've played Final Fantasy 1. That's actually the game that uh, hooked me on RPGs. Uh, and I have played Final Fantasy 4, although at the time I thought it was Final Fantasy 2, but that's how it was marketed in the US. Uh, I've played 8. A little bit of 7. I never really finished 7. I played a little 7, but I played 8 all the way through. Um, and 10, I never finished. 12, I didn't either. Um, so, so actually, ah, you know, I haven't beaten a lot of Final Fantasy games, but I sure do enjoy them. It was your first playthrough, working through the remasters. Yeah, the whole 1, 2, 3 in the US, 1, 4, 6 elsewhere. Yeah. Yeah, it's interesting. Um, so three, okay, so how did you like three? 
How did you like three? And the remasters look great, by the way. I think they're fantastic. What a what a wonderful concept. How did you like three? See, I like a good NPC, though. That's good. That's good to hear. Um, and a very challenging final boss is rewarding. And it's okay. Highly recommend. Good. See, I, I don't know anybody else who's played Final Fantasy 3, so that's pretty cool. Uh, let me pop this in and get this restarted, and I'll be right back. So, Uncle Wooly, the other thing that we're printing, I don't know if you caught this, uh, but since we're here, uh, you can see it on the other screen. Uh, that is uh, this here, which is a, uh, looks like an NES cartridge, uh, but this actually is the outer shell uh, to a storage system, uh, and that storage system can either be made with a, just a, an open tray uh, or in this case, I'm going to be uh, putting um, an insert that will hold Switch game cartridges, uh, which is really cool. I've done stuff like this before. I've done a few of them for Super Nintendo. Uh, this will be my first NES one. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. I think it's really cool. Um, and, of course, the tab here is uh, that that's the part that's missing. That will actually be the part that you push to to eject the, um, the, the insert. So you can see it there. Now, it's not going down in gray. Uh, and that is, uh, that's actually a little bit by design. This is a sort of a yellowish gold translucent. Um, and so that's going to look really neat. It'll allow you hopefully to partially see what's inside, um, which I thought would be pretty cool. And for the, uh, the sake of it, I'll probably put a label on it for um, The Legend of Zelda uh, just to match the gold theme. Uh, so that'll be a, a really nifty uh, little piece of work. So what I try to do, I always try to do something just a little fun, and then if I can, either something functional that I'll be using here in the workshop, uh, or something I'll, I'll, I'll put up in my shop. So, um, yeah, hey, thanks, man. Really appreciate that. I do, I do stuff like this all the time. I get such a kick out of it. Um, and you've been in here before, so you've, you've seen some of the uh, some of the stuff that I've done. Um, have you seen much other uh, 3D printing? Any other uh, cool stuff that you've seen around the way, maybe? Or, or am I fortunate enough to be uh, your your sole exp uh, <laughs> your sole experience with that? A lot of the creations I've seen are actually Switch game holders. Okay, cool. Yeah, you know it's funny. I don't know what it is about that, but there is there is something to be said for them. I think they're just uh, being able to make something out of nothing and have it be functional and useful. And I think the nostalgia aspect really works, particularly for the Nintendo, because the the, the cartridges were always so iconic. Um, I'd even go so far as to say the Sega cartridge is really uh, any of the cartridge based systems um, were, were very iconic. But um, and for Sega, it would be kind of cool, too. One guy on TikTok does goofy rock creations. He's made a rock type. Those are fun. Those are really fun. I've seen a few of those, too. Um, they're always seem. Let's see. I've seen the Rocktopus, which is which is hilarious. Um, 
and it's basically just taking the rocks 3D image and placing it on different things. Uh, I do get a kick out of those. I do enjoy those. Good. Well, I'm, I'm glad to see that uh, people are getting uh, plenty of exposure to 3D printing. Uh, it's just, it's so neat. It's so interesting. Uh, and, and I'm happy to be one of those people who can bring that to the table and share that with folks. Uh, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and exit this time. All right. And we're going to go talk. We're going to get a bit of a story from people by getting three drinks, but we're not going to have too many drinks. Yo, how about a refill? Hold on, Mac. I'll get to you when I can. <laughs> Rock tape, Evie. Yes, I want another drink. Here you go. All right. Uh, I wonder why that didn't work. Now, if this doesn't work, I may just have to level the darn bed. Which would be annoying, but I have to do it. Just one more should do it. All right, cool. We'll get one more. Yo, I would already fill. I'll get to you in just a second. Oh, that was me. I did the voices backwards again. <laughs> What's your beef, Junior? Want another drink? Yeah, I do. Here you go. Oil. Man, he drinks it fast, too. As you sip another of the odd brews, you overhear someone at the bar speaking. There I was, cruising through Sector Double E when I spot a blip on the scanner. So I head toward it, you see. Right there in front of me sits the Delta, just sitting there. My hearts, my hearts start hyperwarping on me. I figure my milliseconds are numbered. All I can think of doing is getting my craft out of there, so I'm reaching for the throttle. And all of a sudden, there's this incredible flash of light, you see. Just like that, this little planetoid explodes into a ball of fire. I tell you, I've never seen anything like it. I mauled the throttle and got out of there quick, you bet. All right. Now, we're going to save again. And we're going to save this as... Mauled... The Throttle. Thro throidal. Throidal. Throttle. So, Uncle Willie, what's your um, what's your bread and butter? Is it is it classic games, retro games? Uh, do you run the gamut? Uh, what's your um, what, what, what do you like to what do you like to stream most? All right, I think I'm gonna get up and see what's what's going on around the way. Maybe was it this guy? Forget it. This guy's not a. I overheard somebody. Maybe it's this guy. Hi, name's Wilco. Roger Wilco. What's yours? I'm sometimes called speaker to cartoons and sometimes flare of soft pink mammals. Mind if I sit down? Buzz off, monkey boy. Okay. And these guys can't. What's the use? You can't understand. This guy. Okay. Was it her, maybe? So you come here off and get out of my... Okay. So it's none of these guys. All right. Let's see what else I can find. Maybe there's something over here. No. Does not appear to be something over here. All right, well, let's see what's over here then. Maybe I'll go back outside. Kind of a gamut. Final Fantasy, horror, survival, horror, and lately been enjoying Souls games. I'm a sucker for a good story. My, my. It would appear that your skimmer has become the property of another. I wonder who forgot to remove the... I love a good story too, and right now, I realize that this is this this is definitely a choose your own adventure story. We're gonna restore back to this interesting fellow. I still don't think I'm going to offer to sell it to him. I think I'm going to keep it. I did this earlier, Uncle Wooly. I did this yesterday, where I made a terrible mistake. He's been looking for one of these. No, I'm not gonna sell. It's fine. Be that way. Wait a minute. You remove the skimmer's key from the dashboard. The sand skimmer's one passenger has skin quite a bit of sand, and it's time. 
A small readout, currently dark, and a keyhole without a key in it. Okay. Yep, so I'll give you a little breakdown. This is this is Space Quest uh, 1. So it is the original Space Quest. Uh, it is also... Here, we gotta go talk to this lady here. Lady? Person? I don't know. I'm assuming a lady. Oh, it is a good man. I don't know. So what's your beef, Junior? Uh, you want a beer? Yes, I do. I want one beer. And the reason I want my one beer is because that triggers this next event. Any second now. Or maybe it doesn't. But anyway, this guy gets up. So this is a point-and-click adventure, so there's not, not much in the way of... Yeah, one beer usually triggers a second. Um, I thought that was the whole point. I thought that was what I was doing here, but maybe I just need to look around a little bit. There are a couple of non-galactic-looking humanoids cranking out some unfamiliar-sounding tunes. They seem interested solely in the music they are performing. Ah! Well, how about that? All right. So now I can get up. Uh, so, sorry, it's a point-and-click adventure, uh, which means basically it's kind of... I liken it to escape rooms um, in that you have to figure out what the thing is you need to... Whoa, no, no, Nelly, hold on. Totally not the Blues Brothers. So that is another thing in here. You're going to get a lot of campy um, references all around. Now I'm going to use my last Buckazoid here. Uh, we're shaking hands. You insert your last Buckazoid into the slots of death. All right, this should go fairly well. Bet 10. All right, good. We're going to keep going. We can at least, I think, get to 100, so we'll do that. Um, yeah, there are a lot of, like, ma uh, mad uh, magazine-type references. You know, so parodies of, of existing properties. Uh, outside, there was a shuttlecraft from Star Trek. Uh, and who knows what else. I mean, there's a bunch of sci-fi I haven't seen. And, and I, I'm pretty sure they reference it here. Uh, oh. Uh, this print's going okay. <laughs> it might be really bad. I might have to level the bed. Um... So there's that, so that's why you got your Blues Brothers and they had a little ZZ Top reference in there earlier, too. Um, and so they, they've got that. Um, but I, I liken these to escape rooms uh, because you have to sort of figure out what's going to get you out of this area and into the next. Um, and then they've got their own sort of flavor, too, which is basically like, hey, we don't care. You're going to die a bunch and you're going to learn from that experience. So in that way... It's similar to Souls, I think. Um, you know, it really encourages you to think differently about how you can get around a problem. Um, so, my first experience with this slot machine was uh, to run the slots. And, of course, my, my first roll was death. Uh, and then I was like, wait a minute. There's got to be a way to get a better score. And I remember to show her, uh, I think it was a Transformers episode, actually. Uh, where, yes, it was. So, the character Smokescreen uses um, like a magnetic tether to constantly win at this uh, betting game. So uh, I was like, what do I have? And either I've had something in my pocket called a widget and it's slightly magnetic is, is, is what, how they described it. Um, and I'm like, okay, magnets, magnets mess with technology. And here you go. So I thought outside the, yeah, all right. So we're going to see what we get. Um, so I had to think outside the yeah brain exercise. Yeah, man. Okay, and then we're gonna we're gonna be done. We're gonna get out of here. Ooh, I actually got a different amount than I got last time. All right, yeah, this is my. All right, so we're gonna save. I'm gonna do a different save. Here's this. I got all those save slots too. One of the things I learned early on, and they they was recommended by the creators of these games, these quest games, save early, save often. Uh, and that's really important. Uh, because if you don't. <laughs> um,
Hey, man. Yeah, thanks for the lurk. Uh, so well, I'll finish that thought. So if you don't save early and save often, um, you're going to run into situations like I just had where I really should have gotten the keys out of the car uh, before I came in because then you're going to find out, oh, crap. Well, now it's either impossible to move forward or it's just exceedingly difficult to move forward. So, um, so I found it was best just to restore back to a previous point. Um, money! There we go. So, yes. But anyway, I highly recommend point-and-click adventure games if you like brain exercises and you don't mind a little trying things over uh, just to uh, continue the story. Uh, it does sound like the kind of thing that would be right up your alley. All right, now we're going to talk to this person again, and we'll get back to where we were. Let's see what I got going on here. <laughs> Yo, how about a refill? Hold on, Mac. I'll get to you when I can. All right, sounds good. So what's your beef, Junior? Yeah, I want another drink. Oh, okay, yeah, there you go. All right, here we got this. Ah, we just one more should do it. Yeah, and that gets me my story. So how about a refill? Okay, you got it. Hold on, Mac. I'll get to you when I can. Okay, what's your beef? Yes, I'd like another drink, please. Okay, here you go. Yeah, there's no downside to uh, saving in this game. Restarting is something that... Okay, so I already read this. He goes, goes cruising through sector e, uh, sector e when I head toward it. Blows up a planet. Okay, good. Guy's reaching for the throttle. Mauled the throttle and got out of there quick. I don't know who said it. But somebody said it. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to actually save uh, under Mauled the Throttle again. Yep, I think that's fine. All right, so we're going to get up. I've had just enough beers. I don't think I want to smell or lick anything here. And I'm certainly not going to touch anybody. So let's try walking outside and see what that gets us. Oh, man, I don't know. Yeah, I have a feeling that leveling the bed is what I'm going to need to do. This poor thing is really getting torn up, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Okay, that's apparently where I needed to go. All right, that's good. That's still there. Oh, it's this guy again. Okay, buddy. You drive a hard bargain. It's my final offer, and I'm only making it because I see you need it pretty bad. I'll make it 30 buckazoids, and I throw in the swell jetpack. It was previously owned by little old Thark, who only flew it back and forth to Fleep Hut <laughs> on Sunday. It works great in zero gravity. You'll love it. I don't know. I don't know if this is a good idea or not. Let's... Call it a deal. Great. All right, cool. We got a jetpack. I'll just take that key. Thank you kindly. In addition, I'd like you to have these coupons. Good for discounts and free merchandise at some of our local merchants. As a representative of Yulin Splat's Chamber of Commerce, I hope you enjoy your visit to our friendly little community. Hey, thanks for the coupons, buddy. Okay, that was good. I must have wanted to do that. Let's see, what else has uh, Yulin's Flats got to offer? Let's take a look. Let's walk around. Let's see. Oh, there is more to do here. Oh, I wonder what that is. There's a strange pile of very fine white powder here. It has a strange burnt smell to it. The back of the bar looks as dingy as the front did. Hmm. Oh, all right. Uh, I probably need that jetpack, but who knows? Who knows? That actually, I think, is going to be pretty cool in that uh, kind of orangey gold. <laughs> Droids be us. Well, guess we're walking in. Greetings, sir. Allow me to show you our fine line of robots, otherwise known as droids. 
Oh, look at this guy. We know who he is up there, huh? We have a wide variety of work-saving, life-enhancing, shiny new factory fresh technological wonders of modern engineering wizardry. Great. That's fun to know. However, I can see that we would be more uh, interested in our line of economy-priced used robots, wouldn't we? Probably. Well, his eyes look really cool. These observe our robot preview screen. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Okay. Sounds good. Uh, oh, def that looks cool. YX10. Guy looks familiar. Ooh, yeah. That's a beast. Sucks 9,000. <laughs> HU10. Dalek. Hiya o Max 40. I know who that guy is, too. That's from uh, um, the Black Hole. Nav 201. Okay. FB 01. Def Tech. YX10. Mirage. Sucks 9000. Oh, SUX. I'll bet that's that's got to be a RoboCop reference. Yeah, we don't need Max. Rock 2000. Nav 201. Okay. I don't know what I need, so we're going to... Uh, can we just exit? All right, we don't need... I don't know what we want there. Um, let's see if there's anything else we can see before we go back. No, oh, wait. Made a deal. Oh, man. I really hope this print stays down. I don't want to have to start it over. Oh, look at this guy. What do you want now? I was just about finished with my internal diagnostics check. Now I'm going to have to recalibrate my photoelectric scanner membranes and begin all over again. Do not touch me, carbon-based life forms are notoriously filthy creatures. Everyone knows that they veritably ooze with metal tarnishing agents. Carbon-based life forms can be so trying sometimes. If you haven't purchased a robot, I have nothing for you. Now go away. This robot is a very old model. Okay. Is this really all there is to this town? Can I go in here? No. Okay. Oh, look at the little saucer. It's awfully small, and also much older than you. Actually, this ship is not bad looking. It appears to be a Dralian cruiser. They have a reputation for quickness and reliability. So, what am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to get in that? Ow, I'm zapped. Ow, that hurt. You're standing next to the protective barry barrier. A <laughs> protective barry. Uh, due to the fact that you are land-based, you are not able to pass. Ah, okay. Need to get... Oh, there's another guy! Howdy, bucko! Can I interest you in one of the finest loyal spaceships in the galaxy? You look like a man of discerning taste. This one, for instance, is just your speed. Or her style, that is. <laughs> it's quite a unique little unit. Never been flown over Mach 3. It was owned by a little old lady from Gladstrom. You have to fly it to believe it. She could be yours for only 99 buckazoids, one time offer only. Talk to me, friend. Uh. Stop about it. Can I interest you in anything here? Can we do business or what? I'll let you service. Talk to me, chief. I'll tell you, old buddy, 99 buckazoids is the slowest I can do on this baby. Uh, can I give him 99 buckazoids? It's 
20 time disc 20 percent discount enjoy how helpful um oh i do have but okay um hey i'm gonna walk out of here as long as you're headed in that direction well let me show you the other fine spacecraft no obligation whatsoever Just trying to be helpful, the one in need. Okay, sure, show me. Now let's take a candy with these beauties. Sport. If you see one you like, just give a hula. I'll stand right over here. No pressure, absolutely not. Well, there's a man with a good eyes, the keenest little scrambler in the hemisphere, top of the line, handles like a charm, perfect for cruising the asteroid fields. And she's got all the thrust a guy couldn't have. I tell you, she's an all right steal at 214 bucketoids. I'll just take a candor with these, okay? Um, I don't, I don't really know what to do. Um, oh, he's pushy, man. All right, let me come back over here. I'll show you the greatest ship you've ever seen. Truly unique. You'll be the envy of all your friends. The girls will love it. Oh, good. I love that. The best ship I've ever seen. Let's go. Let's take a look. We're back for another look at this fine piece of jaw spaceware, right, Chief? Is that, is that what you were wanting to show me? Standing in one of Tiny's use upon clear, they appear to have quite a few kilo light years. Oh, my man. I gotta go buy a droid, I think. So, let me... A Wallwood Warp Blaster ZX with the original paint job. You've only seen these on postcards. Too bad it belongs to one of the bar patrons on for sale. Uh... Yeah, look, I'm gonna I'm gonna walk off. Alright. Um I'm gonna get stuck in this, aren't I? Don't let appearances fool you. This baby may be a relic. I mean a classic, but she's as dependable as that there we got her. <laughs> Just think. You'll be the only one in the quadrant with one, I guarantee it. She's a beaut. Didn't see the little baby can do a spin around the planet in just under an hour. Look at the lines and the bodywork. They just don't make them like that anymore, you know what I mean? And she's a real bargain at 185 bucks doids. Okay, buddy, I'm walking off. The whole purpose of life is to make you happy. Talk to me, Chief. All right, now... I'm gonna need a droid. I don't know what kind. Uh, well, maybe I'll offer this guy the... I'll offer him the, the... No! Go back! What are you doing, you dork? All right, it's fine, though. I'm gonna go back in here. Greetings, sir. Allow me to show you our fine... Okay, dur -dur -dur. I'm gonna offer you, sir... Very good, sir. This coupon entitles you to a reduction of 20% of the price of any of our fine previously owned droids. Um, I don't know which one to buy, though. I don't think I want that one. What about... No. Can't have that one, huh? Some of my better bodyguard models, and it also doubled as a radial arm saw. <laughs> if it had one fault, it's probably its tendency to be overzealous. It's no longer available except for demolition purposes. Oh, okay, good. His memory isn't the best, so I'll let you have him for just 512. 410 with a coupon, huh? These robots have a bad attitude. You gotta keep them in line, or they'll walk all over you. I don't remember what his voice was supposed to be. I'm sorry. 
Uh, well, maybe you should consider buying this particular model. This model's ideal for flight systems operations. It will pilot any modern fighter or cruiser and is one of the most experienced droids we carry. Oh, that's good. That's nice. I ask only 45 bucks. Oh, that's good. That seems like the one I need. Got it from some gambling type who's required to pay up or perish. Hmm. Alright, I think the nav one is the one I, I want. Oh, crap. This model's one of my personal favorites. <laughs> It was produced exclusively for droid spears by a small planet who, pla planet who used these mechanical warriors to fight their battles. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That race killed themselves off, however, and spare parts are nearly impossible to find. I think I've fallen into his... I'll forget it, though. Don't bother haggling. This one's worth 55 buckazoids for the parts alone, and that would be 46 buckazoids for the Koopa. Wow. That sounds reasonable. What am I going to do with something like that, though? This model was originally designed as a family companion on those long space vo vacations. <laughs> However, the manufacturer had to discontinue it due to a psychological disorder. Hmm. I see. Whenever it gets excited, it waves its arms around and yells, Danger! Danger! You can live with the paranoia, though. It makes a great babysitter. I don't really need that. And if you got kids, you'll appreciate it. Low, low price of six hundred and ninety-eight buckazoids. All right. Reasonably speaking, I don't think I'm going to be able to buy this. Ah, yes, truly beautiful piece of machinery. This design rates five stars. Although a handsome machine, this robot has a habit of killing people without any real reason. That seems... seems like we don't want that. I'd love to sell you one, but every one I have was snapped up by a movie director from New Japan 4. Sorry. Great. Well, that's cool. Uh, let's see about this guy. This brand name says it all. SUX is the major manufacturer of refrigerators, dishwashers, and someday... Even time machines. That's funny. I like that. Just happen to have one of these in stock. It's been completely reconditioned since it was a regrettable accident that took the lives of... Oh. <laughs> but, of course, you wouldn't want to hear about that. No. Yes, the dandy compact unit goes for a mere 29 bucks of You can't go wrong when it sucks. Uh. Oh, dude, I don't know what to pick. These little robots are perfect gardening chores, and they don't mind at all. They're away on space missions for centuries. Yes, sir. They may look like Kleenex boxes, but they're built to run a long time. I'm glad, you bet. You've got a set of three, and you can have them all for just 999 bucks or $7.99 with the dollars. I don't think I'm I don't think I'm savvy enough to gamble at uh all that uh Dalek. Um the model had a bad rep. Unearned if you ask me. It's just a wee bit too ambitious is all who isn't. It's quite an endearing quality, actually. Who of us isn't? It's quite an endearing quality, actually. However, we're fresh out of them right now. Nobody seems to survive long enough to trade them in. Mm. I can see that. Hey, yo! These are really some of the most useful all-purpose robots around, and extremely good with children. Good. Good. Roger's kind of a child. Of course, they're all in hibernation this time of the century. This time of the century. <laughs> I'd let you have them for just 875 bucks, though. It's 700 with a coupon. All right, we're back to these. Okay, so I have to make a decision on droids here. I'm thinking that navigation droid is going to be the one. Hey, let me have that one. Uh, I don't know how actually to buy, though. Um...
I don't want that. Nope, not that. Give me the nav droid, dude. Or do I need to send... Do I need to hand him money? Uh, that's the one... No, alright. I'm gonna try and handing him some money then. What is that? What the hell is that? Oh, it's a used jetpack. Real used. Nice. Pardon me for saying so, sir, but we don't appear to have enough money for our purchase now, do we? Oh, no, I, I see. I had to wait and give him money when it shows up on the screen. I seriously doubt you'd qualify. Yeah, you're probably right, dude. Alright, come on, come on. Not that one. Not that one. I'm taking the nav droid. If I can just find it up on the... Oh, I almost clicked it. I'm making some assumptions that I only need one droid. Come on, where's he at? Where's he at? You may pick up your purchase at our convenient droids via pickup area located just out the door and to your right. Okay. Oh, well, that's handy. Hello, sir. Your new robot will be here in a moment. Bloop, 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 bloop. Well, there he is, sir. Programmed to follow you around like a whimpering puppy dog. How humiliating. Okay, great. Um, so we're going to save as Navdroid. Okay. Well, things are going well so far. I don't know how many money I have, though. Oops. Let's take a look. I have 91. What can I get for 91? But I don't think I want that one. I think I actually... I have a bad feeling. I have a feeling that I'm going to need this tiny little thing. But let's find out what happens. Let's go over here. Uh... Oh, man. I'm watching my I'm watching my print go down here, and I'm not sure if I love it, but we're going to find out. We'll make the most of it, whatever happens. Uh, okay, I guess I got to go down and see my buddy. There's my droid. Yay! Uh, I wonder if I can get that one. Hey, guy. It's quite a unique little unit. Never been flown over Mach 3. Okay, yeah. Uh, we're going to go over here, bud. Come on, you and me. Hey, fella, wait up. So as long as you're heading in the direction, why don't you let me show you my other fine spacecraft. Oh, wait, I forgot his voice. <laughs> oh, just take a gander at these beauties, sport. <laughs> See what you like. Give me a hoop. Stand right over here. No pressure, absolutely not. <laughs> I think I want about. Hang on, dude. I want about. Dude, let me talk. Tell me about this one. It's the keenest little scramble at the top of the line, and it's like a charm perfect for cruising asteroid fields. Oh, 214, you dick. Well. We're going to end up buying this stupid thing, aren't we? Hey, you know what? It's fine. Let's try it. Nope. Can't do that. Nope. I guess I'm going to give you money. I don't have any cash. You can't hit the sand. Go on. Get out of here. You're wasting my time. Okay. What? All right. You know what? It's fine. I'm going to... Now, I... all right. I'm going to go... I'm going to go get some money. Come on, little guy. No, I'm not gonna... No, I'm walking away, buddy. Well, at least I'm trying to. All right. Okay, all right. No problem, no problem. What do we got going on here?
Oh, I somehow walked it. Okay. A little unexpected, but hey, let me look at this guy. I hope he knows more about piloting a spaceship than you. Yeah, well, sure. Because it has treads, your robot cannot negotiate the steps leading down to the bar. It will wait here for you, provided nobody steals it. Oh. <laughs> Let's see if I keep winning. I'm eventually going to get caught. I know this is going to happen. I don't know what I'm... Convincing myself of, but I've got 129. If I can get that 200 chum that I need for that ship, then I'll, I'll get it, you know? Alright, come on. Hundred and seventy one. All right, we're going to see. We're going to see. Yeah, I'm not big on gambling, really. <laughs> oh, I bet two dollars. Oh, I see. Okay. Oh, I could have made this probably a lot easier on myself. Well, three book is always for spin. Okay. Alright. Step back nervously as the overheated slot machine begins to sputter and smoke. Well, I guess he overheated the, old, the poor old thing. Okay. I've got enough money now, it seems. So let's let's take a walk out. <laughs> okay. Let's go talk to this guy about stuff I can buy. Oh, I gotta go over here now. All right. I think that's the ship that I want. It looks like it. Looks like it's got enough room for me and a droid. I mean, who knows? But back for another look at this fine piece of job. I don't know. Space white, right, Chief? It's my unique little unit. Okay. Yeah, good. Oh. Hey, come on, man. I'm walking up here. Okay. I'm going back up. Yep. No, no, come on. No obligation. Come on, look, come on. I'll just take a gander at these. I'll take it. Yeah, okay. I'm going to give you some money, bud. Yeah, here you go. Wait a minute. What's the coupon for the bar for? I haven't even used that. And a free Coronian Ale. Huh. Well. Yeah, I know. But I'm out of here, okay? Look, it's fine. I'm gonna go see. Okay, I got you. Now I'm out of here, bud. Come on. All right, just because I want to try one more time to get, make the most out of these coupons. I might have done something out of order, uh, which might have something to do with it. All right. So let's see here.
Alright, yeah, I blew that up. That was pretty cool. I'm busy, wait your turn. Here's your five buckazoids and your free beer. <laughs> hey, hi, Bree. How's it going? Yes, what are we doing? All right, all right. Let's get you caught up, pal. Let's get you caught up. All right, so here's what we're doing. We'll start you here. One of the things that we're doing today is we are printing this. This is an NES cartridge styled housing for uh, Switch games or uh, possibly just a... Um, little tray not here long no worries man here i'm gonna show you the other things you probably came here to see this yeah this is the let's see okay yeah ah. this is the face hugger that we're printing um as you can see oh yeah and we've actually had a little trouble with it um so i may have to come back to the drawing board on it it looks like it's going down all right. I haven't seen any major hiccups, but it does look like it's going to sort of get brute forced into existence here. I'm um, having to print with a brim, which may cause problems because this is supposed to be articulated. If that brim doesn't come off well, um, it may alter its articulating properties, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. It has to print first, and I think that's the big thing. Uh, I also probably need to level my bed. I haven't done that in a little while, and that is typically rule number one. Uh, but that's what we're going to be printing. And just for fun, one of one of my favorite yet painful snacks here, the uh, Carolina Reaper Extreme Blue Diamond Almond, of which I still have a handful. So we'll be getting ourselves. Oh, let's grab another one. Mm. About out of those, I'm going to get some more. And heat on those. And the heat on those is significant. They burn a lot. They burn a lot. I have. They're really good. That's about as spicy as I want to get on a regular snacking basis. Um. Oh, you know what? Actually. <clears throat> These, these are awesome. They're not, I mean, they're not like the super hottest things. They're pretty hot though. I mean, I'll probably get Harper later. Mm. No, you got a little lime flavor in them, which is kind of nice, but. They're not as hot. Oh crap, I just dropped my keyboard. They're not as hot at all compared to those those Reaper nuts. No. Alright. Well, I've used my coupon and I got my five buckazoids. How much money do I have now? 332. Okay. Well, I gotta decide if that's enough money. I'm really flying by the seat of my pants here. I'm trying to figure out. I got this droid. <clears throat> I'm trying to figure... <coughs> oh. <coughs> God, why do I do that to myself? Um. Ah. Wow. Okay. <coughs> Oh my. Mm. I have not. This is my first time playing through uh, Space Quest 1. And this is my first time. I'm going to walk up here again. I'm going to try it. I think this is the one that I want. This seems like the ship that I want. So I'm going to try and buy it. I don't really understand the purchasing mechanic though. 
No pressure. Absolutely none. All right. I want to walk up here, talk to this guy about this. I, the joke vehicle would be this one because it says it's too small. Perfect for cruising asteroid fields, and it's a steal at 214. All right. Listen, buddy. Just take a gander at these beauty sport. If you see one you like, give a hoot. I'll stand right over here. No pressure. Absolutely none. All right. Well, let me give you my money. I can just hand you money. All right? The whole purpose of life is to make you happy. Talk to me, Chief. I'll tell you, I think you made a wise decision. She's a beauty. The keys are in her. You have any problems, don't hesitate to come back and tell us about them. Now, here's the thing I'm worried about. I'm worried that I have money left. in 118. Is there any other droid that I need? Do I? Is this the only droid I need? I think so. But we're going to save here. Probably, probably should have saved before I did that. It's the only droid I need, is that right? All right. All right, so I guess we're gonna, I'm gonna talk to this guy. Let me see if we can put him up in the ship, maybe. Uh, it's been a heck of a pleasure doing business with you. It's good thing you've already got a pilot, Joy. Because you're going to need one to help you fly that thing. Well, good luck. Come again. Do I get... Yep, yeah, pilot droid, get in. Once you're seated snugly in the ship's compact cockpit, the robot moves into position, and you push the load button. Oh, wow. I guess we're done here. Where do you think you're going with my ship? <laughs> now that's funny. That's funny. I like that. Ooh! I saw that. That was it. That was the pod from uh, the Time Rippers. We'll have a tea. It's good. Velocity. That's good. It might help if you were to tell me where we are going. Please indicate your destination on the touchpad. Oh, shit. Uh. Huh. Well. Uh, huh. Wait a minute. The task in it's got the same. Okay, it's got the same thing I need. Hold on. All right. Um,. I'm not, I have the key code, or I can get it here. Let's see. Destination. I had to put in the code earlier. But it was to get a data code, a data key. Um, destination code, space, quest, one. Uh, okay, no, not the cartridge codes. All right, um, okay, yeah, that's something. Okay, no problem. Yeah, we had to deal with that. Okay, that's fine. Yes, wow, the original game was weird looking. Uh, okay. Okay, there's the sector. Oh, it's a slot machine. Okay. 
Okay. <clears throat> Buy the droid. Okay. The droid will ask you to answer. Oh. Uh. See if that's it. Invalid code. A complete set must be entered. Oh, um, wow, uh, huh, I have to find out the code from somebody. I did not find out the code. Oh, I see. Um, okay, after you come in, hand icon, scammer's case, man, I'll try to edit K. Hello, soon, talking about his encounter with the new tells you the sector he bumped into it. Oh. Oh, okay, I must have just missed it. That's okay. Yeah, I should have been paying more attention, but that's all right. I know what it is. It should be, should be this, and then here, and then here. So I actually, sorry, that's the, uh-oh. Uh, so, boy, all right. All right, um... Sorry, that's the incorrect code. Please try again. Oh my god. Alright. This is dumb. Yeah, I was supposed to listen to somebody else at the bar. I guess I... Okay, I'm plotting our course. I hope that's where I was supposed to go. Going to the Deltar. This is strange. Sensors are returning phantom images. There seems to be another ship in the vicinity, but it is tough to pinpoint. Uh oh. Well, there it is. Perhaps you strayed into an area that you shouldn't have. Oh, hey, it's cool. This is actually alright. I forgot I got this far. I gotta have another drink, I guess. Well, that's frustrating. Oh, God, I murdered myself! That's your aorta, if you could see it, now resembles the end of... Oh, God damn it. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh. What a mess. But it's okay. Yeah, you have to hear it to know which code to use. Yeah, that's what I figured. It's okay. It's alright. I came back here. It's no problem. And I have to get a little tipsy without getting too tipsy, huh? I like that I keep wearing the helmet, though. Yes, I do want another drink. Blue. Oh, you're starting to feel a bit unstable. Alright, am I just waiting? What a refill. Wait your turn. What's your beef? Listen, Mac, I shouldn't serve you anymore. You sledged. You better go sleep it off or something. No, no, no. I won't say. Okay. Stop bothering me. All right.
Now get out of my face. Okay, you decided it's not your type. I can offer you a milk bone, grr. This guy's just a conversationalist. You still have to get closer. They don't have time to talk to you. Can't understand what they're saying. Okay, how about a refill? Huh. Alright, I'm supposed to wait, I guess. Maybe I can get up. You're supposed to walk out of the bar drunk and pass out behind it, waking up with an enormous headache and no earthly possessions, but for now, you're normal. Huh, that was weird. Yeah, I overheard something. Alright, you know what? Fine. I overheard something earlier. Whoa. I'm good. Oh, see, now I think I die. Yeah, I die here. You quickly pass out. You notice about a prompt. Yeah. When your body tries to sleep it off, you lose every possession you own. Soon your body strips. Obviously, you don't make it through the night. All right. Where did he say it was? Oh! E! It was E! E! I did hear it. I just didn't make the connection. I just didn't make the connection. It was double E. Okay. Okay. Alright, I made the... <laughs> I just made the connection. Yeah, I remember him saying it now. I remember the conversation. Okay. Okay. Alright. Once you see it, okay, you press load. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I did. It did happen in the conversation. I just, I didn't get the E E was. It was just took me a second. This guy's gonna be pissed. Yeah. Hey, where do you think you're going with my ship? It's fine. It's all good. That's what I'm saying. All right. So I'm gonna find. Ah, uh, no. I'm gonna find the the picture. Yeah. You've achieved escape velocity. It might help if you were to tell me where we are going. Please indicate our destination on the touchpad in front of you. Great, we're going to EE, -E, friends. That's cool, that's cool. We got it. EE. -E. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay, good. Yep, and that. Yep. And then, ah, oh, crap. Yep, and then enter. Okay, I'm plotting our course. <clears throat> this ought to be it. Course is plotted. Stand by for warp speed. Yeah. All right, we're doing great. I'm glad this wasn't another arcade sequence, man. That was stupid. I was not a happy camper with that. Sensors indicate a large ship is in this sector. I wonder who it could be. We'll continue to scan for an ID. Oh, there it is! Whoa, that's a Syrian battle cruiser. We'd better stand off. If we get any closer, it'll detect us for sure, and we'll be in the space. Oh wait, no. Well, that's a Syrian battle cruiser. We'd better stand off. If we get any closer, they'll detect us for sure, and we'll be in the space. Them. Did I play through the slot machine the long way? I'll tell you what I did. I used the widget, the magnetic widget, um, and I stuck that. I just had the idea that I should do that. Um, and so I, I used that until it blew up. I don't know if that's the long way or not. Okay.
Let's head out of, head out of here, okay, boss? Hmm. Uh, I think this is where I want to be, though, isn't it? I want to go see these guys, because I've got a... Oh, wow, yeah, no, no, I died the first time. I said there's got to be a better way. As you exit the ship, you carefully slide the jetpack on your back. You are floating in space just outside the biggest darn spaceship you've ever seen. You see a door. Perhaps it's a way in. Or perhaps not. <clears throat> Alright, good to see you, buddy. I'm so glad you made it. I'm actually getting ready to uh, sign off myself, so it's good timing. Alright, and that'll be where we quit for now. All right, so we'll go ahead and we'll shut that down. All right, folks. Well, we're going to take one quick look at our creature over here. Uh, it does... Now we do... It's not without some... Issue... Well, at least that one finger is going down. Actually, they all seem to have gone down, which is good. I might clip off some of the excess. Okay, that looks good. Yeah, okay. All right, can't complain about that too much. Oh, I guess I could complain about it a little bit. But it looks good. Okay, all right. Yeah, I'm going to take a look, make sure there's nothing I can't clip off, and then uh, we'll we'll wrap up. I think that's going to be all right. I think we're going to be just fine. Yeah, peeling this, uh, peeling this rim off isn't going to be a ton of fun, but I think we're going to be all right. All right. Yeah, we got our we got our layers down. I think we're gonna be all right. Um, we'll see. We'll see later if that if that brim is, you know. <laughs> we'll see if that brim is uh, is gonna hold up. But thank you for joining me. Thank you so much for coming to visit today uh and checking out my stream not on a normally scheduled day although i am used to doing fridays uh we can see here that uh this will be um looking pretty good real soon uh that's gonna finish later tonight our other little friend will finish um uh later today so i'll, I'll maybe post both uh or might just post one it's hard to say uh but that said you know Whenever we, whenever they get done, I'll, I'll post them, uh, and it'll be awesome. I think this is gonna look really good. I hope it articulates. Like I said, with the brim, they come off easy, but sometimes not. Uh, and I don't know how. If I can't get it all off, I don't know how that's gonna look or how it's gonna affect articulation. So we'll just we'll cross our fingers and hope that we don't have any issues with it. Uh, thank you all so much for being here. Um, and what I'm gonna do is I am going to uh, take a quick look. And see 
If anybody is... Yeah, okay, Mars Cakes. Playing the Evil Within 2. Uh, not played the game, but <clears throat> Mars is pretty cool. Uh, really enjoy, um, among other things, the, uh, the, the good energy uh, that she has. Uh, and likes to play this time, uh, like kind of like spooky games. Um, I think she was, she was playing one that was, I uh, would say was actually a, a, a controversial game. Um, so, you know, uh, so a lot, a lot of, uh, but I think again, in that vein of, uh, spooky horror and Hey, tis, tis the season for it. Right. Um, so we're going to, we're going to pop over here to see our pal, um, uh, Mars cakes. Uh, let me open up a browser here real quick so I can activate the raid. And if you'll stay with me just long enough to do that. Uh, and if you don't mind, uh, we will also uh, feel free, if you are a subscriber, feel free to use this message. Oh, sorry, not this message. That, that is your, if you are not a subscriber, use that message. This is the subscriber message. Uh, for raids. There we go. All right. Now we've got that all set. Let's go ahead and we'll raid Mars Cakes. And we'll start now. Thank you all for joining. Really appreciate all your time. And I will catch you next time.